are now rocking with the best Rope Harrison Studio B. It is game time at the finals presented by YouTube TV along with the playoff performer. He's outstanding in his own right. Greg Anthony joins me. Now listen, Boston Celtics, second half of the season, number one defensively. However, the number two team was the Golden State Warriors defensively. So it shouldn't be a surprise how well they've gotten back and taken a commanding lead of this series with their defense leading the way. Yeah, their defense has been incredible. And even though they may not have been the offensive juggernaut in this finals that we're accustomed to seeing from the Golden State Warriors, their offense has still allowed their defense to be effective because they've taken care of the basketball. Only six turnovers in that game five when they were uh, plus 13 in terms of points off turnovers, 22 points committed by Boston. And that's really, when you look at all that's going on in this series, that's been the difference. It's been Golden State's ability to take care of the ball, get quality looks, even when shots aren't falling, it gives them floor balance. Whereas with Boston, they're playing a lot of ISO basketball against a set defense, and Golden State's forced a ton of turnovers, been able to get out in transition, and that's really the, the whole story to this series. They've got a Boston figure out a way to have a little more fluid motion with their offense and force Golden State to have to rotate some. And thus far in game five, they did not do a very good, good job of that. Four and five, the fourth quarter was the main theme if you really want to focus and look in and break down the numbers. Listen, that fourth quarter has been a problem. Has it been an inept offense from Boston or has it been the defense from Golden State? Either way, they are making it happen. Zero turnovers for the Golden State Warriors in the fourth quarter of game five. Let's hear from both teams, starting with both coaches from each side. 